The number of people with that mysterious lung illness linked to vaping has now jumped to 530. It's affecting people in 38 states, including right here in Colorado. More than half the cases are impacting people under the age of 25. And sadly, seven people have died. But even before the first illness was reported, schools in Colorado were being proactive about this teen vaping epidemic. It's all thanks to a new device that's forcing young vapers to keep the vape pens in their pockets. And Contact 7 investigator David Clue explains how this device works. The ease of use, no lingering smell, no evidence left behind. It has made catching vaping culprits in schools a seemingly hopeless endeavor and a lucrative opportunity. We've been involved with school safety and school security since pre-Columbine. David Antar's company is one of several that has created a device no bigger than a smoke detector that can recognize minuscule changes to the air. Halo is the only product that can do vape, vape with THC, advanced smoke detection, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, methane, propane, natural gas detection, chemical detection, like ammonia and alcohol. In other words, catch a vapor red-handed by texting the vape cloud location to every staff member with a smartphone. Antar and his competition are now selling these devices to schools almost as fast as teens are taking up vaping. You could say a nerve has been hit. And at more than $1,000 a piece, schools are now choosing to put their money where their students' lungs are. So you might be asking the question, why not let the staff and the students be the eyes and ears of the school and student conduct? Well, there's a problem with that, and that is that the same place that students go to vape is where, well, my classmates back in the day would go to sneak a cigarette. And that's a place where cameras and guards just aren't allowed. Privacy was an issue for the creators, not an issue for the vapors. We don't record audio or video. We're very, very cautious about that, and that's why this was developed around those privacy areas. We knew they were doing it in the bathroom, but catching them was a challenge. Elizabeth High School is one of dozens across Colorado that has deployed this deterrent. Principal Brett McClendon pushed for the initial $10,000 expense even before the first severe lung illness case was ever reported. We believe these enhance safety. We believe these enhance security. Um, and it's a worthwhile investment. And let's, let's be honest, if we can if we can keep kids from doing this, I think the safety and security piece is well worth it. The majority of the student population is super addicted to nicotine. And senior Taylor Brooks has watched this addiction blossom since middle school. To now be in a school peppered with vape detectors, not exactly what her classmates might have expected. I don't know whether it will be the end or if it will just encourage more sneakiness, if they'll find a way around it like they always do but I definitely think that it has stopped it, at least during the school day. Eastern Colorado's Brush High School, yet another to arm itself for the vape battle. The detectors are on the way, Principal Scott Hodgson told me, and so too is the hope that his students will choose to kick the habit, writing, we were looking for a 21st century way to battle a 21st century problem. Oh yeah, tamper with one of these 21st century devices. Principal McClendon admits he has yet to see evidence his students are permanently pulling the flavor pods out of their jewels, but he also notes that the beginning of the end has to start somewhere.